All right, welcome back. Part two, we're out at Santa Luz. Ferris is playing pretty steady. Mike and I had a couple uh, rough holes on part one, but um, a few over now, so. This hole's a part three, 163 yards, and the wind is playing pretty much straight into us, maybe a little bit cross to the left. You can see we got another front pin location, so pretty accessible, should be able to get closer. All right, push it out to the right, or I mean the left a little. Okay, right in front, should be okay. Started up the left, coming in with the draw. And he's short. Started at it, but drawn. And she's over there to the left, close to, between Mike and I. All right guys, Mike left the shot a little bit short, and uh, he's pretty good at these. He's a up and down magician. Short game magician. Looks like he's gonna belly it. Yeah, I went for the belly, but. Okay, that rolled out a little bit. She's got about five feet left. Par. Thank you. All right, guys, I think we're on number five here, 364 yards, playing straight into the wind. And you can see it's pretty much going straight ahead, flag stick. Looks like it's either in the middle or in the back of the green, right in the middle. But uh, either way, it looks pretty easy hole. Just gotta get one down the middle. Probably gonna hit a hybrid here. Left. It's gonna be okay though. Marco hit one down the middle with the rescue. Playing 146, but straight into the wind, and uh, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna hit an eight iron, nice and smooth. Try to go right at it. Oh, it's right at it, right below the pin. Paris pulled that rescue into the bunker. Yep, found myself a little sand here. Got 122. I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Caught it a tiny bit heavy, should be on the right side. Okay, I'm gonna play. Mike hit a good drive down here, he just avoided the bunker. He's on the left side, he's got 121 yards. What are you going with, approach wedge or P? I'm gonna knock down a little pitching wedge, choke up about an inch, and uh, just kinda swoop it in there a little bit. See if you can get inside me. <laughs> Started up the right a little bit with the draw, this looks really good. Oh, he landed it right in front of me and it spun a little bit left. Great shot, dude. Paris has like about a 65 footer. There's a big ridge that comes around here and it's gonna break in. So uh, she's gotta get it up high enough so that it can uh, take the hill. She pulled it a tiny bit, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's really good. She's got about three and a half, four feet left. Hole number seven here. This one is, it's up in the corner. I don't know how far it is, but it's par four, 400 and something yards. And you guys can see the landing area right there. The bunker on the left is not really reachable, but the ones on the right are. The play here is just left center of the fairway. Give yourself a good angle in there. Right down the middle, folks. Hold it tiny bit to the right. Falling on the right side bunkers. Missed my drive a little bit, and uh, I got about 185 yards left to the pin, but I'm gonna play at about 175, 170. I'm gonna hit a seven iron. 
Let's try to smoke it. Left side, just next to the green. Pretty good. I hit that 311. I'm about four or five over already, so I'm gonna have to start making some birdies get back to even. All right, I got 156. Uh, as you heard from Marco, it's hurting a little bit right to left. So I'm just gonna hit a smooth eight iron towards the, the middle of the green. Started up the middle with the draw and landed on the left side of the green. Just a little bit off in the fringe. You guys, we got some pretty nasty clouds moving in as you can see right there. Don't really hear or see any thunder yet, but those don't look very friendly. All right, so I have 129 with a little wind. I'm in between clubs, but I'm gonna choke down on an eight and um, kind of hit a punch shot to really get through it and make sure it penetrates the wind. Started out the flag with the draw and a little bit long. All right, Marco's got like a little 30 yarder down the hill over that ridge and right there. Okay, not too bad, played it safe. Paris has a tough little chip. She's below the pin, so everything's running away from her too. Mm. She's got a little too cute with that one. All right, Mike is about pin high. He's got a little bit of ridge. That's gonna be in the first couple yards when he hits it. And then it's pretty much straight down from there. Got about nine feet left. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh great putt. Thank you. All right, this is part three, 226 yards, playing a little bit downhill and also a little downwind as well. But you can see the pin, it looks like it's right in the middle. Play here is to miss to that big hill on the left and let it kick down if you're going to miss on any side. Anything on the right is pretty much dead. You got a bunker there and it's pretty tough to get up and down because there's a huge ridge on the other side of it. Oh, right at it. Good shot. All right, that's Paris close again. And I'm just off. And Marco is back there. He caught his a little bit heavy. So he's gonna have a tough up and down. And Paris is playing great today. Again. Thank you. <laughs> All right guys, he's going for the thin wet shot. Coming, it's trying. All right, Marco, a little short, a little left. It's got about that much. <laughs> Bumping it through the uh, the rough there. Nice. I think I finally figured out the gimbal. It's all about the wrist. It's all about the wrist. Okay. Yes. Feels like a birdie, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that felt so good to make a putt. All right, so we're on hole number nine, par five, 553 yards uphill. There's a bunch of bunkers on the right side of the uh, fairway and then also deep left. So we're gonna miss kind of over in that area and uh, probably lay up in David Tom's this hole. All right, so in today's live stream, you guys asked us to do a long drive contest. We're both playing like crap right now, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah. If we had a good one here, we have a chance to get home in two, so I'm not going to say it's a win-win, but it'll be a, it'll be a fun thing. And give a thumbs up if you like Marco's 5 o'clock shadow. <laughs> it's like a 10 o'clock. <laughs> or a 10 o'clock. Oh, he hit that one good. Bunker? 
Uh, just, just to the left of it, but it's okay. All right, big dog's gonna focus up. This for five dollars. Five dollars. Am I up five right now? I feel like, yeah. And I won ten, uh, ten from uh, RVCC, so. And what? Ten from the rock paper scissors? Oh yeah, ten from the rock. So we're, I'm up twenty-five. Mmm, boy, striped it about as straight as I've ever seen it in it. Oh man, we are here in thunder. Yeah, we might need to pack it in after this hole. Starting off the left hand, actually down the middle with the baby cut. Looks perfect. All right, guys, we're getting. Uh, Paris just got a warning message on her cart. It said uh, weather warning, clear course immediately. But before we clear, I just want to show you who won the long drive since that's more important than our life here. So that's me. There's Paris and there's Mike back there. <laughs> All right, I got 252. They're giving me a hard time. Marco out drove me, so you got your five bucks back. We're down to 20. And uh, I'm gonna hit three wood and try and get it there. Closest to with three wood? Yes. Okay, on the green or no? No. Closest to, just, just in, in general. general. Oh, boy started up the right with the big swooper. About 10 feet left of the pin. Oh, that landed on the green. Yeah. So, Paris, what are you hitting here? All right, so, what did you say you had in? Two? I had 252. Yeah, so I'm just, for fun here, I'm gonna hit a driver off the deck. And it's hopefully about gonna go like 230, but we'll see. All right. Wow, she hit it really pretty good. Not to the right a little bit. I think right side bunker. If that would have been straight though, that could have got on the green, yeah. I think. All right, Marco's got three wood for five bucks. You gotta go back to back, five bucks on you. <laughs> and I pulled it to the right. It's not the great, greatest camera job. Okay, bunker? All right, Paris has like a 70 yarder. Uh, just over the green. Marco is right in front. About 15 yards in front. Okay. Super tough. All right, and then I am right here with the three wood. I got rejected off the hill. A little bit long, but he's safely on board. Very nice. Okay. Nice. Roll. Two put. All right, that was then to our ninth hole. Mike parred. Mark, what'd you have there? Par. Par, and I parred as well. Are we able to uh, play the back nine? Uh, not right now. We have to wait for the weather delay right now. Yeah. Um, we're just waiting on uh, see if it passes over us. It goes to the uh, left. Am I on video right? Yeah. It's just like going that way right now. So okay. It may just miss yeah. us. My good lucky, huh? Yeah. So, so I think uh, I think it'll miss us anyways. So you guys should be good. Cool. Okay, so, so just hang out a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. Just a few minutes. Okay. Cool. Cool. So sorry guys, we have to end uh, after nine holes that they got a little weather weather warning out here, lightning in the clouds, and uh, they called us off. So yeah, we to shut it down. So we got nine holes. We'll probably do like a little two part for you, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy. It. Paris played great. Yeah. Had a lot of really good shots and uh, made some good putts too. So she kicked her butt out there. So yeah, yeah, good <laughs> for her. <laughs> All right guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this little two-part series and uh, we'll be back with some more fun stuff. Again, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and uh, see you for the next one. Yeah, have a great day. Later.